Coming up, a Washington Full Circle special presentation. We're turning the spotlight on DC's Cinema City. The movers, the shakers, top filmmakers, famous locations, and of course, the stars. Plus, the person behind the buzz about DC's film business. She's not a celebrity, but she has Hollywood producers knocking at her door. And DC is seeing stars on the streets, on the screen, and on the red carpet. Also, from below the beltway to the streets of Adams Morgan, the cameras are really rolling on independent films. Plus, a road trip in search of DC's most famous movie locations. Recognize this one? And take your pick from a festival of films nearly all year long as DC shows how to really celebrate cinema. Get ready for a front row view to DC's multi-million dollar Cinema City on a special edition of Washington Full Circle. If a city has major movie making activity, celebrity sightings, and attracts big revenue from the film and video industry, I call that a cinema city. And that's why DC's in the spotlight this week on Washington Full Circle. Hi, I'm Furman Patterson here to tell you that the cameras are rolling again and it all starts right now. This location and this one. And this one are some of the biggest silent stars in Hollywood. But with a new excitement about shooting in Washington, film and TV producers are moving beyond the monuments and turning their cameras on a wider range of local opportunities, making DC a real cinema city. And capitalizing on the new excitement about the city is the goal of Kathy Hollinger, director of DC's Office of Motion Pictures and Television Development. Our priority is to make DC a film-friendly destination. Hollywood and the film industry are very excited about Washington right now, and we have to continue to find ways to embrace that interest and continue to bring them back to our city. My job is to position Washington, D.C. as a venue of choice for film and television production, both nationally and internationally. Which includes a virtual one-stop shop for permits, making it easier, faster, and more efficient for filmmakers shooting in the district. We want studios to come to D.C. and be interested in red carpets, not in red tape. That means offering things like office space, parking, and other creative incentives. We're so happy when films and productions are coming into the city, and we know that we have so much to be proud of in terms of our national monuments, but this production is in our neighborhoods, and it's terrific. Get this, film productions here in 2007 and 2008 alone generated $115 million in spending in the district. My name is Evelyn Salt. On the drill! I'm innocent! Somebody is setting me up! Salt! Movie projects completed or underway in 2009 included Salt, How Do You Know, Fair Game, and State of Play. And let's not forget major productions for the small screen. We're absolutely seeing more TV production in the district. And the trend is reality television. We had an opportunity to go to the Real World House at 20th and S with our sister agency, the Office of Cable Television, to tour the set. Wow! So we got George Washington. That's right. They started um, pre production in June and they stayed for five months. They ate in our city, they worked in our city, they volunteered in our city, and they were a joy to work with. Very, very professional production. 
We're working to help give local residents a piece of the production pie. We have filmmakers, we have producers, directors, makeup artists, actors. We have our own qualified workforce and work crew right here in the district that we need to hire, um, cultivate, and encourage right here in our nation's capital. Don't go away, there's more of the big picture on DC's film and video industry as Washington Full Circle explores Cinema City.